Hey guys, this is Sam, and iOS 10.2 Beta 2 adds a crazy new emergency SOS feature and more. So today's update comes exactly 7 days following the release of iOS 10.2 Beta 1, which came out last Monday. It added some new emojis and a new iMessage send effect, and overall, it's looking really good so far. So if you want to see what changed in Beta 1, I'll leave it linked up here in the top right hand corner of the screen. But today, for me, is equally interesting, because the first feature that I want to highlight is an emergency SOS feature that is enabled by default whenever you update to iOS 10.2, or at least it was for me when I updated to this beta, that when you press the lock slash power button five times really quickly, you're gonna see a screen that looks and sounds like this. Spoiler, it's terrifying. So obviously my phone was in airplane mode because I don't wanna actually make a call at this time, but as far as your thoughts on Emergency SOS go, I want to hear them down below because I think it's a great idea. It's not going to be so great if some friend takes your phone and presses the lock button five times just to hear that terrifying sound. And of course you can cancel it by hitting the X at the bottom of the screen. But I think it's good that it's enabled by default because if you're in a crisis situation or you really need help or you're in danger, you can do that on your iPhone and help will be on the way. So overall, I think that's really nice, and I'm a pretty big fan of this change. Now next up, when iOS 10 redesigned the music app, the number one problem I had with it was that if you had never used iOS 10 during the summer, you would have no idea where the shuffle or repeat buttons were, and Apple hadn't changed anything up until today. Well, now when you tap on the music application, and you scroll down just a little bit, there are very defined buttons for shuffle and repeat. They're not small, and they're not just the icon. It actually says shuffle, and it actually says repeat. So I'm a pretty big fan of that change, because in general, they were really confusing. And while I still wish that they were on the screen without scrolling down at some point, or right here where they should be visible, it's better that just a slight scroll down reveals where they are. And launching the music app for the first time in iOS 10.2 clearly points it out that there are more defined buttons down below. So I think that pop-up is super handy. Now another big change in iOS 10.2 is the addition of a brand new stock app. It's the TV app, which Apple talked about on stage just last week or the week before at their October special event. I don't know how I feel about it just yet. As far as design goes, I think it's pretty good. There's quite a few kinks that need to be worked out, but this is just beta 1 in iOS 10.2 beta 2 of the TV show app. And I think it'll be a lot more useful on the Apple TV when I'm sitting down looking to watch a show. It's sort of useful on the iPhone, or I'm sure the iPad as well. If you tap on the first tab, Library, it's going to show you TV shows or movies that you own, not ones that you can watch through Netflix or HBO or another service. Watch Now, I don't get entirely just yet. It's kind of glitched out, as you can see, but this is just a beta, so of course keep that in mind. And you can press on a guided tour and try to watch a video, but I don't think that... Uh, thumbnail is live just yet. Also, you can go to the store and view some more movies or TV shows to watch here. It also suggests some apps that you can watch TV shows um, on demand through, like HBO Now or Hulu or Stars. And of course, searches for searching for TV shows or movies that you're interested in. If I head over to the search bar and type in The Night Of, one of my favorite HBO shows or really television shows that I've seen in quite a while, you'll see that that's right here. You can buy or subscribe to it. It doesn't work perfectly just yet, but if you tap on it, it'll give you some options to watch it on HBO Now, which I already have installed, or buy it on iTunes for $3.99. I don't know how practical this is just yet and how often I'll use it, but if Apple works on the design and makes it look and function really well, then I can totally see myself going here before anywhere else to find the next big TV show or movie that I get really into. Overall, guys, that is all I've got for you regarding iOS 10.2 Beta 2. If you want to see all the latest changes for future iOS 10.2 releases, make sure you hit subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And if you enjoyed this one, feel free to drop a like down below as well. I've been Sam. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and I will talk to you later.